babe. I'm right here, Lenny. I ain't leaving you. Escorting twice a week for the past two years now. I still can't get used to it. Guess you'll be going home, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll see you around. Good luck. Thanks, Sergeant. We're going to talk about arrangements on the way to the mortuary. car over at the mortuary. As soon as we take Lenny there, I thought maybe you'd like to ride to the orphanage with me to see where he spent his younger years. Yeah. Lenny talked about the orphanage all the time. He used to call me Big Tom. What about the funeral? Have you set any time, or...? I'd better discuss that with you, since Lenny did name both of us as next to kin. Well, I'd like to get home as soon as I can. Anytime you say is fine with me. I'll make arrangements as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot. This letter to you is in Lenny's personal effects. Dear Phil. Thanks. I hope you never get to read this. But if you do, and you've met Big Tom, and you're probably getting ready to put me under the sod. I've left my insurance to you in the orphanage. I hope your five grand will give you time just to knock around for a while. Maybe you'll fall in love with Baby and ride with Big Red and the guys. That would be groovy. Big Tom will tell you about her. There's just one thing I have to ask you, Phil. Remember how I used to talk about riding with Red and the guys? Well, aside from Tom and yourself, they're the only family I've ever had. So I'd sure like them to be at the funeral. Get in touch with Cheryl. She works at Mom's restaurant. She'll help you find them. And if for any reason you decide you don't want Baby, give her to Red. He'll take good care of her. That's about it, buddy. Maybe if there's a place in heaven where Marines go, I'll see you there. But I hope it's not for a hundred years. Your pal Lenny. <laughs> Sam, I'd like to have you hold off on services about a week. I need the time to locate some friends of his. We can postpone it that long, Father, if that'll help. It'll help a lot. Fine.
could keep him for one week, and then I'd like to go on with the funeral. Now it's time to get you acquainted with Baby. The garage is just outside of town. So that's Baby. That's her. I asked Ted to tune her up. Looks like he's even cleaning her for you. Uh, hello, Father. Ted, this is Phil. Well, I'm sure glad to know you, Phil. How do you do? Father, this bike runs like a striped monkey. Anyway, I was going to clean off the road dirt off the undercarriage. Lenny used to shine her up after every run. I'm afraid I haven't been that diligent. Are you telling me you ride this bike? Every Sunday after Mass. I have many hours of hard work on this little lady. She used to be a hobby of mine. So that's how Lenny got hung up on bikes. Yeah, I'm afraid you're right. And many times I've regretted it. Instead of Lenny making it a hobby, it became a way of life. I don't suppose you've ridden a chopper before? No, no, nothing like this. My brother had a dirt bike. I used to be pretty good on it. Well, the baby's much heavier than any dirt bike. She has twice as much poop. Well, on this front end, it'll take a lot of getting used to. Makes her real squirrely. Yeah, I can see where it would. She has a very wide turning radius. You'll have to watch yourself. Oh, I have a, an appointment in town in about 20 minutes. Ted, you fill him in on anything else he needs to know. Oh, sure, Father. And when you find the boys, will you give me a call? Oh, you wanted to know about Cheryl. She works at Mom's restaurant. When you get into town, you go right straight through. It's about a half a mile. You can't miss it. It's right on the highway. Thank you, Father. Oh, and I have your duffel bag. Uh, you may want some clothes. If you can take care of it, I'll pick up some civvies in town. Will do. So you were with Lenny, huh? One of the only ones I ever took to. You know what I mean? Well, Phil, she's all yours. Let's see, what do you need to know? The first gear is down, the rest are up. And these are your switches.
something the matter, miss? Where'd you get that bike? Belonged to a friend of mine. What's the matter with you? What do you want? Uh, let me have a cup of coffee and a ham and cheese sandwich. Here. Here. Give me a cup of coffee. Cheryl. That's right. Well, I'm Phil. Lenny and I were in the same outfit together. He used to talk about you all the time. Did he? You mean share everything, don't you? What the hell's it doing here? I don't know. I always wanted this mother. She. I'd give up bowling for a year. How do you like that bastard? Gave it to her. So you got your old dude's bike out in front. Coffee. I don't know. Don't take me for a ride, baby. It's his bike. You a buddy of his? Huh? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> what do you do? Lose a bike to you in a crap game? Something like that? He left it to me if it's any of your business. Hey, man. Ain't no need to get uptight. <laughs> Wouldn't want to sell it, would you? Uh, no, I think I'll keep it a while. Hey, you don't happen to know where I could find a guy named Big Red, do you? Depends on what you want to see him. You know. well, Lenny wanted me to tell him. Thanks. <clears throat> you ever seen the Indian? That's why the big red, huh? No, I never met him. Hmm. He's kind of a, you know, like, uh, kind of far out. Hey, man, it's worth 10 bucks to me if uh, you could. Oh, hell, man. We don't want your bread. If it's for Lenny. Yeah, we'll take you to him. Come on. Louse never turned down ten bucks in his whole life. Oh, my life, I fought to stay alive. It's not easy reaching 25. There's always someone trying to take what I've got. I never knew why, because I never had a love. I learned to move just as quick as a cat And I learned the smell of a dirty rat Things I've been through Don't be one living room Who can you trust? Be nobody's fool Be nobody's fool Yeah. 
down that mother bring a lot of bread. Walls told him we knew where he was. Does he know what he looks like? He says he don't. An Indian with a beard, huh? Well, man, he ain't coming to you. Mooch tells me you want to see me. Uh, Lenny wanted you to take care of baby. You put me on, man. Who's baby? Maybe you mean Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going, man? To find Big Red. Uh, yes. <clears throat> See if he's got any bread. Oh, pink slip. He's even signed it. So now, the only problem I have is you. Hey, Grady! Don't cut nothing off we can use. She's right. You wouldn't want to lose anything, would you? So let's cut out the bullshit. Look, I don't give a damn about you, man. All I want is that bike. And being as old Lenny owed me some dough, if you're going to put it in writing that uh, you gave me the scooter to cover his debts. Got it? Yeah. You just saved yourself a lot of trouble, man. I'm going to be real friendly and let you stay around. Back off! Tell him to back off! Good! All right, hand over my gear. Try to follow, I'll run this through your guts. Don't follow us. All right, the switch is by the kicker. Crank her over. on a man. I don't believe he had the guts to stick him. Don't sell him short, man. Did you see those campaign ribbons? You don't get that for being a fag. Where we go? Sheriff Station. That's cool, man. That's cool. You ought to be locked up anyway. I think Dan must have made you a little dingy. That's why you cut me up and tried to kill me. 
I got ten witnesses that'll call you a liar no matter what you tell them. You better think it over. Yeah, that Marine just came in here. He wants to see you. I don't know, but the, the boys worked him over real good. Nah, I guess he's seen worse days. I don't know. I'll, I'll check him out. If he's okay, I'll send him over, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks. Seems like Lenny's bike is a very desirable commodity around here. What'd she say? What do you want to see Cheryl for? Now, Lenny told me she used to ride with him at Big Red. One of the last things Lenny wanted was to have Red at his funeral. He said she'd help me find him. I thought Rawls was taking you to Big Red. Well, he took me all right. All I did was wind up bumping heads with a guy named Grady. Yeah, Grady, yeah. He comes in here all the time. Look, let me give you a little advice, huh? Wherever, wherever Lenny is, huh? I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you got him buried in... Then took off, huh? Huh? Am I moving the machine? Hey, you're not gonna turn away all this business, are you? Look, Brady, I'm closed. I got a wife and kids waiting for me at home, and I'm late now. Just a couple hours, Mike. We ain't gonna give you no trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what you mean is if I don't open up, you'll give me trouble, right? Yeah, right. Right. Stay here with the broad. Hey, man, you better get that stitched up. It's starting to bleed again. First things first. Look, Moj, don't forget to check the orphanage. And if you find it, let the air out of both tires. Okay, Grady, we'll do. All right, you do. Let's get on. 
chick stay here now. Go, let's get it on. Come on, let's move it. Hey, how's he gonna ride with no air in his tires? You got it, Rita. I want him where he's at till I get there. Hey, let everybody go. I got a grill for him. They're looking for a big, wild marine man. And when they find him, they're gonna give him to me to play with. <laughs> we'll ask for more trouble. Why don't you just go home? Look, I told you why. As soon as the funeral's over, I'll be long gone. Look, Lenny is dead. Let Father Tom bury him and forget it. Hey, Cheryl! What do you want? Just cruising. How about come for a ride? No, thanks. I have to get up early. You're going to miss one hell of a party. Some other time. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, man, why don't you put her down? She ain't giving nothing away. Hey, man, I have seen her high. Now, I'm going to get there. You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, Have you had it all night? Is that a friend of yours? I haven't slept with him, if that's what you mean. You can sleep on the couch. I don't have any extra blankets, but there's a couple of sleeping bags in that cupboard. I had them cleaned. Oh, well, I'm sure you have. I just thought you might like to know. Five o'clock, you better be out of here early. If you're looking for the native smell, I've washed them. Look, damn it. I'm not blind. You can stop telling me the difference between black and white. And you're right, Lenny did stink when he sweat. But so does everybody else.
We stayed here three days once. We got caught in a rainstorm. Must have been some party. It was. Lenny and I had only been riding red for about... Something wrong? It's just in that light. With his jacket on for a minute, you'd look like Lenny. sandwiches. Water? No, thanks. This canteen reminds me of the first time I met Lenny. We had all our gear stacked together. And I took a drink out of his canteen. He looked at me kind of strange. And he asked me if I knew it was his canteen. I said, hell yes, I knew. I was thirsty, mine's empty. You're trying to make a point. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. I'd be the last one in the world to put you down for digging money. To me, everybody's entitled to be what they are, to do their own thing. And I don't like being accused of something I'm not guilty of. Peace offering. Depends on what you have in mind. Let's say, uh, another sandwich. Al must be working. 
Who's Al? The owner. He's out of sight. The orgy, huh? A real family-type bar. Come on, no put-downs, remember? This bag, what can I tell you? If it wasn't for my kids, I'd get the hell out of here. And that wife of mine, she can go to hell, too. All that woman knows how to do is spend money. <clears throat> yeah, man, I know what you mean. Look, I'll be right back, huh? Chill, baby. Long time to see. What's been happening? Too busy working. They shoot the parties. This is Phil. He was a friend of Lenny's. Hi, Phil. I know this out of sight here about Lenny. That really blew my mind. Uh, you don't happen to know where we could scratch up Big Red, do you? He was in here last night. He uh, said something about going up to Downey to fix the bikes. Hey, Al. I need a refill. This guy's a pain in the butt. He's worth 50 clams a week, though. If I gotta listen to the mother, he won't drink. You know what I mean? Hey, can I buy you guys a drink? Cold beer sounds good. Yeah, I'll make it too. Sure. You know, I keep thinking about the money I'll pay the government and taxes, and they just blow it. You got any idea what it's costing us to put a man on the moon? A lot of bread, man. Yeah, a lot of bread. Those people in Washington, they're gonna make beggars of us all. Hey, Al. Hey, Al, you know Randall, don't you? Yeah, man, yeah, man. I'll be back with you, huh? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Well, Randall's got a kid, and he's going to the Army. So I told him, my kid, I'd just shoot him myself. Before I let him take him to Vietnam, what's the difference? They're just gonna blow his head off anyway. You know I was right, Al. Why don't you take some of this money instead of spend it all over there and build some of them camps like them commies is doing? And we wouldn't have all these riots and these moneyed people around. Come on, let's get out of here. I gotta go to the John. I'll meet you outside. Later, Al. Easy, baby. I'm sorry, I had to get out of there. Al, bring back memories. Is there something you wanted to ask me? Why don't we call some of these places instead of running all over the state? I'm just beginning to enjoy it. Besides, they don't take calls. Nobody will tell you anything about them over the phone. They figure the only person to be looking for them would be the cops. We've had so many good times here. Don't turn me on unless I'm what you want.
the hell did you send me for beer for? You take a hit off this, and I'll drink your beer. Panama Red. Word is everybody blew grass over in Vietnam. It was there if you wanted it. You're too cool to use it, right? I wonder if Grady's still looking for me. <laughs> What's so funny? Not up here, it's not. Nobody chasing us. I know, I was with him when he tangled with Red. Red told him if he ever caught him more than 20 miles outside of Victorville, he'd kill him any minute, too. Uh, got nothing. What are you staring at me for? I really don't know. You really have a hang-up now, don't you? Part of you thinks I'm a bummer, and the other part wants my boss. Well, I'm not letting a dude like you put me down for anything I've done. You want me, baby, you take the whole package or nothing. You have nothing better to do than pick up choppers. Remember, don't ever look at them. I do something wrong? Hell no. Just want to get a closer look at that bike, that's all. You know, I'm building one myself. Hey, where do you get your custom work done? I got it done over in Victorville. Victorville? Yeah, I didn't know there was a custom shop down there. Well, there really isn't exactly. A couple of friends of mine did it. Well, listen, now. Uh, thank you very much. Take care. Yeah, you bet. That just don't happen. Now, he seemed like a pretty nice guy. I still don't believe him. Hey, do you ever believe anybody? Well, that's been twisted or something. Oh, come on. <laughs>
can't figure it. It's got plenty of gas, it's just not getting any. Come on, everything's ready. I hope you pack some tools with those sandwiches. Nope. No, you're not gonna think it's so damn funny when you have to help me push this thing. We'll worry about that after our picnic. Picnic? Are you sure you didn't plan this? There's a chop of this grass, man. Spike, isn't it's that yeah, out, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's far out, you know. It's far out. See me tripping down that highway. Hey, over, over, pull it. <laughs> We're just checking out your bike, man. All right, you've checked it now. Uh, cut out. Hey, there's no, no use getting uptight about it. We didn't hurt anything, man. Hey, uh, wouldn't happen to have a little grass dog to sell us, would you? No, I wouldn't. Hey, maybe your chick has some. What do you guys want? Oh, just looking to buy a little grass, that's all. What makes you think we have any? Oh, bike people always have grass. Maybe you just don't want to sell us any. All right, cool it right there, man. Forget it, Phil. Oh, you're a cool chick. All right, hold it, hold it, I'll hold it. <laughs> She says she'll, she'll give us anything we want. Well, how about some effort? You got everything we had. Oh, I figured that's what you had in mind. It's what you want, is it? Hey, Nico, we can't do that, man. They'll get us for rape. Hey, there's a truck coming. Well, we got the grass. Let's get the hell out of here. How'd you get him to leave? You know me and my big mouth, I just mothered him. That's all. You folks all right? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Now, what do we do now? Start pushing? No. There's a reserve valve on the bike. I'm sorry. I was trying to be cute, but... Hey, take it easy. I told you, I wanted these mothers up here. Man. I'm gonna blow their minds. I keep telling you, it's against the law. Now you're gonna get busted. To hell with the man. I want, I want to blow their minds, too. Bernie? This guy is stoned again. Now those bars are up to the limit. Look, John, don't hassle with him. Just make sure you get the cash and no receipt. Hi, Bernie. Cheryl, how goes it, sweetie? All right. Looking for Red. Has he been around? You two split, huh? A couple months ago. Uh, you know where I could find him? Well, they were in this morning. But you know me. All I ask about is the bread. Could be there.
is looking good. Yeah. This is Bill. How you doing? Lord. Hi. Benny. I thought you was working at Victorville. I am. Hey, you haven't seen Red around, have you? so important. Come on, tell me. I guess Lenny told you that we grew up together. No, but what's the difference? Before my mother died, she owned Mom's, and, and Lenny used to wash dishes there after school. I was always around. I guess, I guess we fell in love. I don't know. Hey, I'm not putting you down for that. After he... Afterwards, I just wanted to be hard. I didn't want to feel anymore. I think I'm getting hung up and I don't want to be. I really don't want to be. Is that what you were trying to tell me? Hey, look, I don't know what you got. I to used do. to go with Red. After, after Lenny and my mom went, I needed somebody and he was always around. How come you're not still with him? After a couple of months, he told me that I'd have to turn on to anybody who wanted me. I left one night with... Don't tell me any more details. I'm only interested in getting into the funeral. If he wants you, that's your problem. That isn't why I told you. little horse where's red my son is where he's always at when he comes here in town with the horse yeah he never gets enough does he See you again. 
Phil, this is Big Red's father, Little Horse. Hi. Oh, how do you do? We're looking for your son. He's at Shannon's. Where's Shannon's? It's a whorehouse, man. It wouldn't be a wise move to take her there. Can you take me there? Well, I've got to stick around here, but I can get one of the guys to take you out. All right. Hey, Myers! I'll stay here. Tell me your chopper used to belong to a guy named Lenny, one of my people. You mean he was black? They were right. I mean, black and beautiful, baby. Want one? Come on, have one and loosen you up a little. No, thanks. Who's this dog with you? A friend of mine. Is this someone you're making him with, then? Huh? It's none of your business. Well, they got the right fixtures, but they aren't as good as we are, are they, baby? I didn't dig Lenny just because he was black. You get the hell out of here. You little bitch. Leave her alone. Get off my property. see some choppers? What do I want to look at choppers for? As I'm telling you to, now get your butt over here. You crazy, it's cold. Hey, where'd you get that chopper? Hey, Red, this guy wants to talk to you. My name's Bill. I was with Lenny and Nam. What the hell's that got to do with me? He wanted me to talk to you about the scooter. Okay. Come on up. How about it? I might have myself a new bike. You want them coming up here? I will stop you jabbering, will you? I paid for you and the room, didn't you I? Go downstairs. Shut up. Yes, I know. I know. You're right. I can't help it. I'm in this meeting. I'm tied up, and I just can't get away. Okay, about an hour. Okay, bye. 25 bucks for the room, and you can really crank it on. Right upstairs, I'm gonna go play a little bit. It's open. Drink? No, thanks. I'm there. How'd you latch on to that chopper? Lenny left it to me. He also wanted you to come to his funeral. Funeral? I ain't going to his funeral, man. Thought you guys were pals. We were nothing, baby. The only reason I kept him around was for the scooter and his broad. How'd you find me, anyway? A friend of yours, Cheryl. Girl's got a lot of guts. Want to sell it? I'll tell you what. I got the pink on it. You and your.
your people come to his funeral, I'll give it to you. You're putting me on, man. You want the bike, that's the deal. Groovy. We'll leave in the morning. I know it, man, but you did me a big favor. When do you want to leave? Don't sweat it. Come back to see me, huh? Come on. We got a lot to talk about. Please, Come Rick, on. don't. Sometimes he makes me curse the day he was born. Hey, Red! Let her go. What are you trying to lay on me, man? I said let her go. You trying to tell me you're gonna stop me? You're a gore man. Yeah. No, no broad on earth is, is worth all this hassle, man. I pass. I pass, man.
I've been thinking about what I'd do if you changed your mind about giving me the bike. There's the pink on it. You mind if I borrow it for a couple more days? The only way I could get him to the funeral. I wouldn't have given him the satisfaction. Look, don't hassle me about it. That's the way I want it. Sorry about what happened with Red at the camp. I dreamt that son of a bitch was running over me. We'll meet you at Mars. I gotta make a phone call.
should have called and told me you weren't coming in. I'm sorry, Mike. I know I should have. Mind if I make some breakfast? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Fresh eggs out back. Hello, is Father Tom there? Yeah, would you please tell him that Phil Duncan called and said to go ahead with the funeral arrangements? All right, thanks. Tell him I'll call back later. Listen, I wouldn't hang around here too long if I were you. Did you find Big Red? Yeah. Yeah, we found him. You should have got out of here, man. Grady still wants to see you. Now, let's get out of here before there's any hassle. You wouldn't want to see her get hurt now, would you? Red's still here. You take him, you're in trouble. Look, you play one little game, and I'm going to slice Cheryl. Mom's the word. Well, you better have a lot of fire insurance, baby. Play your game. Get it on. They bring the place down if I can let anybody call. Uh, uh, please, Cheryl, this place is the only thing I got. Please. You got nothing. You got nothing!
a bunch following them. How the hell do I know? Hide the bike. Pick a man and stay with him. The brides do the same. like you figure in a hassle. Where's the dude in the bike? Thought I'd keep them both out of the sun for a while. Good thought, man. Yeah. You're not taking them, Red. That's what you're figuring. You got what was coming to you. Easy, baby. Now, if we start tangling ass, there's gonna be a lot of heads and machines busted. Looks to me that like you want the dude more than a chopper. All I want is the bike. The bike? Shut but... up. Okay, it's a deal. There's one other thing. Lenny signed the bike over to him. Now he's got to sign it over to me. Go get the dude. Oh, I'll need a pen. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, there's a pen and a bus. Bring it with you. He wants a pen. What does he want a pen for? How do I know? Maybe he wants to sign a treaty with the Indians. Shit. Oh, my God. 
At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going away to him who sent me. Yet not one of you asks me, Where are you going? Just because I have said this to you, your hearts are full of sorrow. Still, I am telling you the truth. It is better for you that I go away. If I do not go, the paraclete will never come to you. Whereas if I do go, I shall send him to you. And when he does come, he will prove the world wrong about sin, about justice, about condemnation. First sin because they refuse to believe in me. Then justice because I am going to the Father and you can no longer see me. Finally condemnation because the prince of this world has been condemned. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot hear it now. When he comes, however, being the spirit of truth, he will guide you along the way of all truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak only what he hears and will announce to you the things to come. He will glorify Don't leave me, babe. He will take what is I'm right here, Lenny. I ain't leaving you. Sweet Lord, sweet 